The story begins with a heated argument between Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, and Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, acting leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The same thing Tony told S.H.I.E.L.D., the Avengers have already tracked and collected all Infinity Stones and declares that the Avengers are best suited to keeping them safe. Peter objects, explaining that the Infinity Stones have already become a target, and holding all four together will make it easier for Thanos to get all of them. He worries that Thanos will eventually come looking for them, and it's not a matter of if he comes looking for it, but when he comes looking for it. He even pointed out how Thanos almost destroyed Earth with only one Infinity Stone. Now imagine having all of them in his possession. Rocket instantly asks Tony to hand them over to the Guardians, claiming it will be the safest with them. Tony returns with a snarky remark about how raccoons always liked shiny objects, which Rocket takes offense to. When Rocket starts to talk back, Tony destroys the console in outrage, which shocks the rest of the Avengers, calling it very uncharacteristic of him. Tony makes an excuse about how he wanted a new console when Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow, says that mindless smashing was the Hulk's thing. Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye, says that he didn't know Tony was so passionate about it, but Tony explains that these stones are the most dangerous objects in the universe, and asks them if they would trust anyone else with them. Steve Rogers, aka Captain America, speaks up and tells Tony that the Guardians may be right, given that the stones are now a target. Tony reveals that he's created a special vault with advanced shielding that keeps them cloaked from anyone and anything, especially Thanos. While declaring that the Infinity Stones stay with the Avengers, Tony suddenly hears voices that he only heard. When no one claims to have heard it, he dismisses it altogether. Later that night, Widow sneakily gets past security and a sleeping Hulk using a cloaking device. She even gets past Hawkeye who is training blindfolded, or so she thought. She arrived at the platform elevator to reach the secret vault Tony had shown them earlier. She then used some smoke to reveal the invisible lasers she skillfully passed through with her nimble reflexes. She quickly puts the Infinity Stones in her bag when Iron Man suddenly arrives to thwart her robbery. He claims the problem with stealing from a genius is that their tech will never be better than his. He then disables her cloaking device, to which he's surprised to discover that the Widow is the supposed intruder. She then charges Tony, claiming that he can't have the Infinity Stones, to which he responds that the stones will stay in the tower. A fight ensues between Widow and Iron Man. Tony's shocked to find her betraying the Avengers, but he claims that he has always known she was more loyal to S.H.I.E.L.D. than to them. Widow wonders how Tony knew she was there to steal the stones when she hadn't set off any alarms, and wonders why he came alone, suggesting that he is planning something with it. Widow suddenly sees a vision of Tony as a dictator who has forced Earth to submission with his army of Iron Man suits as it flies off into the air. She claims that the stones have corrupted him and says she doesn't want to have to do this. Widow gets past Iron Man and seals him off while she escapes. While she's escaping, she suddenly hears voices that stop her in her tracks when Sam Wilson, aka Falcon, shows up to stop her, who thinks Fury put her up to it. She claims no one can be trusted with it, not even Fury. She then shoots an electric net at Falcon while running for it. Although restrained, Falcon sets off the alarms and informs everyone that the Widow is stealing the Infinity Stones. The Widow later runs into Hawkeye and Captain America who asks her to stand down and return the stones. She quickly made it into a close combat by using Captain America as a shield against Hawkeye who was pointing an arrow at her. She then uses her finesse to attack Hawkeye, making him release the arrow at Captain America who froze him. When she turned to the next corner, Thor was waiting for him, clearly in cahoots with Widow. When they thought they were cleared, Hulk dropped from the ceiling intent on stopping them. Widow explains how the stones have corrupted Tony and anyone who comes in contact with them. When Hulk says she's corrupted too, Widow explains that her shield training helps keep it from taking over her mind, but not for long. Hence why she and Thor need to get rid of it quickly. Widow managed to talk some sense into Hulk as he let them go. Thor claims he would have gotten past him anyway, but Hulk says he can dream on. Widow wonders if Asgard can hold on to the stones, to which Thor confidently claims that it has managed to keep numerous untold forbidden magic, hence it will be secure there. Thor then orders Heimdall to open a portal back to Asgard. When the Widow and Thor arrive at Asgard, they're greeted by Heimdall, who claims to know why they are there and volunteers to escort the stones into safekeeping. When she's about to hand him the bag, she sees a vision of Heimdall on the throne, who has usurped Odin using the stones. Natasha claims that he's already corrupted by the stones, to which Thor attacks him and they return to Earth. 
While trying to figure out their next move, the Guardians show up. Widow explains that she did not plan to steal the stones, but instead tried to get rid of them. Star-Lord claims that he knows about it and explains that their last incursion to Asgard has served as a beacon broadcasting the stone's location to everyone else in the universe. Rocket says that it would not be surprising once the Spartics, the Sakarans, and even the Celestials would show up to retrieve them. When Widow says that they will take heed of their warning, Rocket claims they are not there to warn them, but to take it from them as the Guardians ready for a battle. Thor tells Widow that the stones are too much for her to bear alone, and that the Guardians may be right. Suddenly, she sees a vision of the Guardians with uncanny powers invading other planets and galaxies using the powers of the stones. She then claims they are not to be trusted, to which Thor prepares to fight. Thor gets thrown to a wall by Groot while the rest of the Guardians corner Natasha. When Star-Lord and Drax cornered her with the rest, Captain America and the rest of the Avengers arrive to protect her. She wonders why they would protect her, but Iron Man explains that she did the right thing. He didn't realize that the stone was corrupting him until she took it away. Suddenly, an all-out fight between the Avengers and the Guardians breaks out in downtown New York. The Widow wonders why they trust them with the stones, but Captain America claims they only trust her. He explains that they don't have the willpower to fight them, not to mention Hulk vouched for her. Star-Lord declares that the Infinity Stones are too powerful, but Iron Man objects that it is too powerful to give to them. When he tried to snatch it from the Widow who got distracted, Falcon came up from behind Star-Lord, placed a chip on his back, and teleported him to the ship. Hawkeye grabs the rest of the chips and sends the rest of the Guardians back to their ship. Captain America claims they will be back, but Falcon explains that it will take them some time. He sent malware to their ship that blew up their transporter. On the Quinjet, Widow's giving her best to fight off the temptation. But it is taking its toll on her, and she slowly feels drifting away. She then asks Thor to keep his promise to her that should she give in and use the stones, he would give it everything he has to take her down. He claims that Odin's law forbids killing and suggests taking her to the Dark Realm instead, should it arrive at that. Seeing her determination, Thor agrees and promises her. The Avengers later arrive at a local neighborhood. Dr. Stephen Strange suddenly shows up. When Hulk was about to smash the door, he claims to have foreseen their arrival and the danger they bring. Widow explains that the stones slowly overwhelm her mental defenses and asks Dr. Strange to bury the stones in between realms. She saw a vision that Doctor Strange managed to keep a hold of his faculties and wouldn't be corrupted by the stones. When she claims that the fate of the universe depends on it, Doctor Strange explains that it's not only their universe, but all dimensions as well. He even made the mystic world active. Suddenly, the atmosphere and air change, and a portal opens which Dormammu passes through. When they thought they had the advantage given that Dormammu was alone, he summons hordes of mindless ones. Doctor Strange describes them as unliving beasts of stone. When Dormammu grabs Widow, Hawkeye shoots arrows at him while Falcon rescues her. As they're slowly being overrun by Dormammu's minions, Widow's forced to go with her plan C to use the Infinity Stones, but not before reminding Thor of his promise to her. Natasha then floats into the air, clearly possessed by the stones. With a burst of her power, she destroys all the mindless ones and then forces Dormammu back to his dimension, closing the rift behind him. With Dormammu gone, Natasha has embraced the power of the Infinity Stones, claiming to feel everything and see the universe all at once. After basking in its power, she wonders why she resisted it for so long when she can do anything and control everything with it. She claims that its power is incomplete because it needs the Power Stone. Iron Man claims that the Power Stone is gone, but she insists that it has survived and is determined to find it. Doctor Strange asks her to surrender the stones, but she easily defeats him. When she's about to attack him with shattered car parts, Captain America confronts her and tells her to get it in control. The Widow regains consciousness and is saddened at what she's become. Captain America explains that she saved them, but she wonders at what cost. She then turns to Thor and asks him to make true to his promise, but he's torn and wonders if there's another way. She begs him to stop her before she becomes something they have always fought against, pure evil. Forced to raise his hand, Thor's about to use his strongest attack at her when he suddenly stops halfway through. He believes she is the strongest Avenger when it comes to the discipline of the mind. Everyone gave her the encouragement she needed to fight the Infinity Stones and she managed to purge the stones from her body. Hawkeye then catches her as she falls to the ground. When they thought the fighting was over, Thanos arrived and retrieved the Infinity Stones for his gauntlet. 
He claims the stones call for someone who truly feels them and that he is the only one worthy of them. Iron Man takes a cheap shot at him when Doctor Strange restrains him long enough for Thor to banish him to the Dark Realm. Unfortunately for them, it appears that Thanos is stronger than any of them, and claims that it would take infinite power for anyone to banish him. He claims that such power Thor doesn't possess, but he does. He then wipes out the Avengers in one blast and flies off with the Infinity Gauntlet. The end. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon to be notified about our latest videos. We'll see you next time.